Hey everybody, um, this is, uh, Just Thunder, not for the whole podcast, but just for this little opening bit, um, I'm talking quietly because my parents are asleep in the next room and I'm trying not to wake them, um, but there's two things, uh, we forgot to talk about on this podcast, um, first being Froggy and the Friendship, um, they do the intro for the podcast, they do the intro for the Let's Play, they're, uh, incredible, you should check them out, um, Ryan Davison, the lead singer of Froggy and the Friendship, is also in another band called the Koopa Kids. And uh, if you are going to PAX East next weekend, he is going to be playing uh, Friday night from 10 to 11.45. So if you're going to be at PAX East, definitely check them out. Hit them up. Uh, they are They are phenomenal. The other thing that we forgot to talk about is that it is uh, time to vote on the next game. So this week, the game is the game we talk about in the podcast. I don't want to spoil it because that's the whole point of the podcast. But um, after that, we are either going to play more Devil May Cry or we are going to play something else that we have not decided yet. As far as that goes, uh, that is up to you guys. If you want con- us to continue playing Devil May Cry, we will do that. Um, but if you would like us to move on to something else, we will do that. Um, and if nobody has a preference either way, uh, we are going to move on to something else because we do not want to continue playing Devil May Cry um, just because of how uh, hard it was and how much I struggled with it. But if you would like to see us continue playing that, we will definitely do that. Uh, Yeah, once again, sorry I had to be so uh, quiet for this recording. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the podcast and we will see you whenever. Hey everybody, welcome to the Thunder and Lightning Podcast, episode three. Yeah. I always put up the fingers like there's people <laughs> like that who don't know, can't hear me and are seeing the the the, the, the three fingers I'm holding up. I saw um, it. Chris saw it. Hey Chris. Hi Anthony. How's it going? It's alright. Um we've been recording all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we do every week. I think people uh, can hear at what point in the day we're at <laughs> just a level of excitement well i mean the podcast is is pretty chill i feel like anyways yeah. so i i don't mind recording it at the end of the day um my name's anthony um that as i said was chris uh and we are thunder and lightning gaming respectively um no guests this week still we'll have guests soon i promise i think um correct me if i'm wrong oh no i am wrong i corrected me I was okay. going to say, uh, first episode of Almost Fancy is coming up next week. Next week? I think. I think. Not. Oh, okay. Definitely not. Uh, well, I was going to say there's a guest on that, but there's but not there even a guest on so that. So you're wrong twice <laughs> yeah. in one sentence. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> yeah. Um, this week, we played Spider-Man for the PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's a fun game. Um, Actually, let's... Fuck it. We should... Um, combined the talk about what games we played this week and what games we played on the show section because it was it was essentially Spider-Man. the same for me yeah yeah i mean um, me too i played all the oh right the right, DLC. right um did i play anything else i don't think i did i've been watching my dad play red dead and that's a oh, lot of cool. fun yeah i am um, so update i beat persona 5 yeah uh my my final play time was 154 hours um <laughs> The game, like, definitely overstayed its welcome, but not that much. It was not until the la- very last dungeon that I was like, okay, can we can we get on with this? I've played yeah. enough of this game. Uh, most of the game, I was, like, in there. I was like, yes, what's next? Um, but definitely way too long. I, I recognize why people play that game a second time. I don't think I ever will unless we're doing it for the show. And even then, like, that, if we did that for even the 
RPG show would be 150 episodes. Yeah. And uh, there would be long, I'm talking like two and a half hour uh, breaks of time that are just cutscene. <laughs> um, but it was fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I I really didn't like the blonde dude. I think he should have died in that one part. And uh, my favorite character is the, the, what do you call her? The senior girl who is like smart and sophisticated. Um, that's it for that. After I played Persona 5, I tried to play Mega Man X. And I don't know if I've talked about Mega Man X on this show or not yet. I probably have. I've played it like eight or nine times at this point. I get worse every time. Yeah. To the point where this time I could not beat it. Jeez. I just didn't beat it. I gave up. And I I got frustrated. I gave up. I cooled down. I tried it again. It didn't save my progress. So I had to oh. I had to start at the end of the, the game again. But so because I bought all I have all eight of them. I got the Mega Man Legacy yeah, collection. Yeah. And I've never played three through eight. Um and I was just gonna start there, but I was like, you know what? I can't deal with this game right now. So I started playing the Spider Man DLC. Um and I'm glad I did. It took me all weekend. It was a lot of content. I liked. I, I was very happily surprised at how much content it was. Um, and I was debating whether we should do it on the show. I think we really should. Okay. Um, but yeah, you have also been playing Spider-Man. Yeah. You had a probably not, but like relatively unique time with Spider-Man. Oh my God. So first time I, I put this game in, uh, it started up and... Uh, you you know we actually just played it. You start right off in the game swinging. Yeah. Um, I expected honestly. I was sitting there and I was like, I expect more out of a PS2 game. Like I'd be swinging and then the whole thing would just stop and it would be loading in the rest of the rest of the town. Interesting. And uh, God forbid I was talking to somebody. That conversation's gone. Oh, like Spider Man was talking to somebody. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's so like, weird. Like, it actually happened on the show. Remember Otto, uh, I think, one of the episodes this week. Yeah, Otto, yeah. Otto, uh... He chimed in, and we went to... Well, we went to a menu. Yeah. And then it cut him off. But he came back. Yeah. That didn't happen for me. Yeah, that... That conversation was gone. I'm assuming it was with Yuri, if it was right at the beginning yeah, of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... And that was... Da- and I... It, it bothered me so much, I, I stopped playing that day. Yeah. And I was like... There's clearly something wrong. I'm going to let it rest, <laughs> and maybe that'll do something. And it did. That problem's never happened and again. And you definitely have the latest update. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's weird. But, like, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, from there, the next day, that problem wasn't happening, but there was a major glitch, <laughs> and I yeah. think we're going to show some footage. Yeah. So Chris is going to talk about it, and then... At the end of this episode, I'm going to put in the footage. Uh, it's phone footage that Chris, like, yeah. took a video on his phone of his TV. You get to see his cute dog. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do that. But d- do talk about it. So, um, I think it was in episode two this week, right? Yeah. The level? Yeah. It was your first time on the stick. Oh, you yeah. You have to play as MJ. <laughs> <laughs> um... I I can't describe like what that level is. It's we're the, meeting the demons for the first time. It's the level where you um you as Spider Man infiltrate an art gallery and then you meet up with MJ and MJ said, "Oh well, I infiltrated the art gallery earlier." And then you go fifteen minutes back in time and right. you play through as her. So what happened is that room where you meet MJ is beyond uh the room. Where you're attacking people as Spider-Man. But you crawl through the vents, so you reach that room first, and then go back to fight all the people and save the gallery woman. I don't know what to call her. But in between that is spliced the section where you play as MJ. Right. But it, (laughs) it, it glitched two times. I got... So how I ended up being Spider-Man in that MJ cutscene, and then for the rest of that level is I glitched out of the vent. I bypassed the MJ cutscene where you're Spider-Man and you turn around and she's there. Uh I defeated all the bad guys in that in in the room, the next room after you do the the MJ cutscene. The room they force you to stealth. Yeah. 
I did that. Um, it failed me, and I was like, okay. Because, uh, and you might see it in the video, you might not. Um, I alert the guards, because I'm, I'm just screwing around. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and they shoot the woman. So then, it starts me off uh, in the MJ cutscene as Spider-Man. And I had no clue what was going on. And Spider-Man's like nine feet yeah, tall. Yeah, that's the best He looks part. like Slenderman. Spider-Man's, it's creepy. Yeah. He's it's like so creepy. so much taller than the art exhibit <laughs> woman. And he's like, the, the thing that baffles me, I don't know how the game knew how to do this. Spider-Man's doing the animation yeah. that MJ does. He's yeah. like on the phone with Craig talking about. It's, it's horrifying. And it's her voice. Yeah. It's so weird. Um, And then I get to play that whole scene. It's just, it's broken. Yeah, you'll as see it Spider-Man. On the, you'll see it on the video. There's a point in the video where you're like, "Wait, can I punch?" Oh, I can. Just, <laughs> it's it's the MJ slow walk cam, but you're punching and kicking and yeah, swinging yeah, as yeah. Spider-Man. Um, I've it, never seen a game break so succinctly. Like yeah. you were still playing. Yeah, it just uh, I don't know how it did. Once again, I, I just said it. I don't know how it knew to do what it did. Like I don't know how it was like in the code. It was like I've come across a problem. I know how to fix it. Yeah. And then that happened. It was it was the craziest thing. So then Oh, we're not done. I, I get guess. well, I get <laughs> noticed and then uh I go to the room which I have no context as to where this room is. Mm. Uh the MJ cutscene room where you stealth the two guys, see oh. the camera, then see then I had to do it again as MJ, as MJ. and do and do it properly. That's yeah, uh, but you said that was the last like lasting issue, right? Like, well, since then... so so since then, uh, sometimes when there's cutscenes, or if I'm inside a building, uh, the camera's on and I can't shut it off. I can zoom in though. Uh, oh, that part's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that is not an overlay. You're literally controlling the camera. Yeah, I I mean I have a video of that too. I don't know if we want to show it up front with the uh, spoiler alert. If you didn't see uh, this week's episodes, Stan Lee's in the game. Mm. I have, um, Yo, have that whole thing's on that whole thing's Stan on Lee's camera scene. mode, um, and I have a video of that too. But uh, it's weird. It, I can only assume I have a lemon copy. Of of Spider Man, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Games nowadays, like the disc, is basically just like a uh, install disc yeah. at this point, and you install the game, and then you just need the disc to like remind the system that you have the game installed. So I can't, I I don't know. I just in 2019, I can't see. I just don't know what else. What el- I'm not that good at hacking games <laughs> that I can just make glitches happen. Yeah, you know, um. Especially continuously, like I'm down to it seems like, uh, the the camera is like the, the big issue. Oh, oh, and it's not an issue. I mean, the, right, the cutscenes yeah, happen, cares? no yeah, problem. Who cares about that one? But um, uh, timer going? Yeah, I just you know I I, I like to check now. Yeah, it um, might have uh, I might have quickly had to make a second one because we <laughs> I didn't click it at first, but it, a timer is going. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Um, I guess for these we could just actually we could just use that. True. I I like the the timer will like blink at me. Oh, okay. Oh, but anyways, there's that and um. Uh, what else happens to me? Oh, I feel like there's sometimes a lack of information given to me on what I should do next when I'm investigating and stuff. Uh, but we'll see. I want to compare that to the game we're running. Yeah. And see. We um. In our game, we all the glitches we run into have been graphical. Yeah, like something looked weird, or something like the web that stuck to the thing, or like right, right. We haven't had any like. And when I was playing the DLC, which I did after you told me about your glitchy Spider-Man copy, um, the only glitches I ran into were sometimes the sc- during cutscenes the screen would freeze and like right. The, the cutscene subtitles kept going without the talking, but then the talking caught up to them. Oh, that must look creepy. No, 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 no. It wasn't... No, like, the subtitles keep going, and then the... But the cutscene is frozen. Oh, I see but what you're saying. But then when the cutscene comes back... It's they where do it's the, supposed they to They do be. the talking without the subtitles, and then when it catches up to it, it puts the subtitles back. Ah, okay. So, like, not a big issue, because I play with sound anyways. Um, But, yeah, that... I'm I'm 
surprised that it didn't like ruin the experience for you. Obviously, that's it would have a- if it was as bad as it was the first day, but it's it's gotten a lot more tame. That's so weird because like this game, like I say in one of the episodes, is notoriously buggy. But like the game stuttering in the intro while you're flying through the city, and like it sounds like you said it was like loading in the city, like mm. an Assassin's Creed opening, like. That's some, like, day zero shit. Like, that's what that, I'm saying. That's why I asked if you had the current version, because that shit should have been patched out day one. Yeah. And well, like, that, like I said, I expected more out of a PS2 game. Four. No, I'm saying oh, if oh, I was I playing see. the PlayStation 2 and that happened, I'd still be like, are you kidding me? Yeah. We're not past this? Yeah. No, I, I know I know what Jen <laughs> I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... um. That sucks, but you 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 were telling me that you're almost uh, you're at like the climax of the game, so yeah yeah seems like it didn't slow you down. Yeah no, I mean I could tell any issues I've run into that game. I've just said uh, it's got to be my copy because I know a lot of people like this game, uh, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun, yeah. especially. W- I'll tell you what though, if that whole loading in while you're swinging thing kept happening, I would oh stopped that's playing. unplayable. Yeah, because that's like that's most the fun of the game, and that's most of transportation. Yeah. That's, you know? Yeah, you don't unlock fast travel until like halfway through the game, and yeah. that's like the funnest part is doing the, the the flying around the city. Yeah. Um. Um. I remember. Um. There's a YouTuber. His name is Beat 'Em Ups. Um. And he did a video on Spider Man, and he showed video of him hundred percenting the game, like getting the last achievement. Um. And the last achievement, I mean trophy, the last trophy he got was the fast travel one because he just <laughs> never did it because he didn't think to because he liked uh, he liked swinging so much. Oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah. Um, so I think we're definitely gonna play this one again. Yeah, and you know, I I want to say this. We're into week three now. Yeah, and um, uh, I'm really impressed. At this point, week one and week two is starting by the time we've recorded this. Yeah. And a lot of positive feedback, a lot of views, which I really appreciate. And please tell your friends to subscribe if you know anybody you think would be interested or uh, or even just check us out. Um, if I may add, if you really, really like us and you want to get like minute to minute updates on when we upload things, when you're watching the video, there's a little bell icon. And if you click the bell, you will get, uh, assuming you have the YouTube app um, or YouTube on your computer or whatever, you will get a pop-up notification when our episodes go live. Yeah. Um, and our plan, a couple videos have messed up. Uh, we can talk about that if we want. But our plan is every day at 12 uh, Eastern yep. Standard Time. And the podcasts are going to go up at 6 Eastern right. Standard Time. Um, oh, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, if you're liking us, and you, and you want more content of something or you you just want to tell us anything in general i really want to uh push comments and you know being interactive with yeah, us tell us yeah. what you think we, we um, want to know we did if you don't mind me talking about this we got one comment uh <laughs> requesting us to play a particular video game and i think we're going to do it definitely not yeah. right away but um if anyone knows about the video game night trap ben Say his last name. I won't. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's on his it's on his profile though. True, <laughs> true it is. Um, he did this to himself. Well, our 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 friend Ben uh, has requested that we play Night Trap. I think ba- he did it as a t- and set the nation. I, I think we did it. I think he did it as a troll. Little, little does he know. I love that game. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, Night Trap is uh, an FMV game, and what that means is all the "Quote unquote" cutscenes in the game are real actors, like real people acting, and they recorded the video and they put it. Uh, it was for the I forget the NES. S- the, no, no, no. It, oh, no, 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 no. It was for um. It was a Sega system. I oh, think it was. Okay. What is that? Is that a Genesis? It yeah. goes Genesis and then Saturn. What's in between those? I I don't I don't know Sega console. It's not, it's I'm blanking on it. It's it was on us it was on I think it was on the Saturn. Um but the the point of this game is you're in a house or this is very hard to explain I'm just realizing. There is a house <laughs> and there is multiple <laughs> rooms in the house. You as the player are looking at the rooms of the house on a camera feed and there are these creatures, they're dudes in black costumes 
that are trying to attack the people attack in the house. The, the people in the house who are a group of kids having a slumber party. The house is full of traps, and you have control of the traps. So if a monster is over a trap, you can trap them. Um, but basically, um, this game kind of blew up and got a lot of uh, like negative but also positive uh, publicity because it's not a good game, but I really like it. Um, I like Night Trap. I really do like it. I have the PS4 version. Limited Run Games did a, a run of it. And, dude, I've seen footage of the... I thought maybe would say of the whatever the, <laughs> of the old version. It is on like you cannot tell what's happening. Yeah, the video yeah, yeah. Footage is so grainy. But um, you uh looked up. He he's got a poster of Night Trap in his room. Yeah, Ben thought I didn't like Night Trap, but he he is sorely mistaken. Did have we talked to him about that no. game? He no. just randomly brought up Night Trap, and we I were like, okay, just, man. I think he was just trolling because in the podcast we were like, tell us if you want us to play a game, and he was like, play Night Trap. That's just so <laughs> random. Didn't we one hundred percent it too? No, absolutely oh, not. Oh, we didn't. Well, we one hundred percented a playthrough. We didn't get all the trophies. Oh, uh, because well, yeah, yeah, the right. trophies were impossible. One of the trophies was play it. It, with the hardest difficulty setting, where in the mode where you can't see them on the little mini cameras. Yeah, that's that's impossible. Um, but basically, this game, along with Mortal Kombat, uh, is responsible for the ESRB. I don't know if I ever told you that because there's a clip in the game of a woman getting ready for bed in a yeah, nightgown. Yeah, yeah, no, we've talked about that. She's on the cover of your poster. Yeah, they did that because uh, you know, it's just part of the legacy. Yeah. But um, people thought that was too lewd, so they uh. They, they they wanted to give Night Trap an A rating, like A for adults. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what that's that's why the big R's, uh, ESRB uh, conversation happened in the first place. That and because Mortal Kombat was so goddamn violent. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, look forward to that. Uh, that's not what's next week's. That's not what next week is going to be though. We'll do that eventually, um, and we'll talk about next week later. Um. Yeah. Oh no. You and I have definitely talked about what next week is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um. News time. Okay. So, uh, a bit of sad news to start. Um. So Luke Perry passed away. Yeah. Uh. What does that mean for your show? No I don't clue. know. Yeah. But what Chris is referring to is um, Luke Perry plays Archie's dad on Riverdale. He was also on uh nine hundred two one zero. But yeah, it it sucks. He he had a um a stroke and he was hospitalized and everyone was like, well, we don't know. And then two days later, he passed away. Wow. Um. So they said that every episode of Riverdale is going to be dedicated to him from now on, which is cool. Um, I don't know what that means for the show because season one ends with like a, oh my god, did they just kill Archie's dad? And then. Season when season two picks up, it's like no, they didn't, but we're keeping an eye on him because someone's trying to kill him. And then he makes it through that, and now oh wow, I guess he just goes on vacation <laughs> indefinitely or something. I don't know. Um, but it does really suck. He wasn't that old. I think he was in his early fifties. I think. Yeah, I think it's at fifty-two. Yeah, something like that. Um, and before I, before I get away from uh, sad news, Alec Trebek. Uh, was just diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Wow, you're you're having a ball with these today, aren't you? Uh, listen, it it it's news. It's relevant news, I think. Speaking of relevant news, you want to talk about the relevancy of the news with these podcasts and what we're going to oh, be doing in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that in a second. Um, but yeah, Alec Trebek has stage four pancreatic cancer, but he like made a video. And the video is basically like, hey, guys, I'm sure by now you've heard that I have this, but, like, it's treatable, and I'm going to fight it, and I pretty much have to because my contract on Jeopardy is enough for two more years, <laughs> so I have to host Jeopardy, and I can't do that if I'm dead. Wow. So he was like, he was like, if you believe in me, I believe in me. It was cool. It was a cool video, but, you know, that could go south at any moment. Yeah. So, yeah, before I – that's a good point. I should have brought this up before I started doing the news. Um, as you're probably – hearing <laughs> right now the news that i'm saying is three weeks old um that's gonna change soon where we've been kind of doing these as we go but we're gonna try and make it so that we're gonna try we don't know how like how easy this is gonna be for us but we're gonna try to record the podcast the day if not the day before it comes out just so it uh just so the news stays relevant because yeah. i was looking at my news and i was like man this is a bunch of news and it's a, a lot of stuff i want to talk about but 
it's it's gonna be in the past by now. Um, like I have the Tetris tournament on this thing. That was yesterday, like, <laughs> it, or a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, now into m- even more relevant news. Um, the Game of Thrones trailer yeah. just dropped. Let's talk about that. Um, it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah, they showed. Um, they showed Thormund. I forget his yeah. last name. Is it official? Because it was quick. When I when I watched that video, I'm like, that definitely looks like him. No, yeah, it was him. It was. I mean, it looked like him. Yeah. All right. I don't. You I, said I the same it, thing I just said. I mean, I thought it was him. I saw it and I was like, oh, it's him. Yeah. So yeah. They just brushed by brushed by him so quick. Yeah, I don't know why they even put him in the trailer. I would have kept him being alive a secret, if that is not a flashback that scene. Oh, that's a good point you just brought yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, I don't like thinking about that. Um. So do we have confirmation? I keep saying this. I can't remember where I heard it. Do we have confirmation that these last six episodes are going to be like an hour, two hour, uh, two two and a half hours? I can long? check if you want. I don't know how I'd check that. I feel like I've been told that, but I could also be saying that because you've told me that. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I, I mean, I, this is definitely true. I saw an interview with uh, one of the producers who's seen it all at this point, and he said that each episode is basically its own movie. Yeah, that's in insane. Like, in, like, quality. Like quality and, and impact and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Our um, movie podcast that we keep alluding to is probably going to have a lengthy lengthy Game of Thrones segment, if not its own special mm. uh, podcast. So we'll talk about that more. Evo 2019 games were just announced. Yep. Um, and they are nine games that aren't Super Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of people are angry, and I don't get it. <laughs> because, like, I'm obviously a fan of Smash Brothers. Uh, I, you know, if you were like, hey, let's play Smash Bros. And I was like, okay. And I started the boot up Ultimate. And you were like, oh, I meant Melee. Can we play Melee today? I'd be like, sure, whatever. Um, but, like, Melee is like a, what, 16, 17-year-old game at Just this about. point? And it's been, it's run at Evo has been, like, six or seven years at this point. Um, and, like, I get it. It's, like, a legacy thing. And, like, it kind of, like, made Evo what it is today. But, like, do you, especially with the new Smash Brothers, do you really want to watch Melee when there's also Ultimate there? Right. Because I think no. Like, obviously, it's an, an opinion, but, like, I don't know. I don't I don't mind that it's not there. Obviously, there's a couple games, like the new Samurai Showdown, which doesn't even have, like, a name or a release date yet, and the new, or maybe it's not new, Under Night in Birth game. I don't know anything about those. But, like, obviously, those are spots that Melee could have, but, like, it's also spots that Dead or Alive could have. It's also a spot that, um, I think, Soul Calibur is on there. I don't have the list in front of me, but there was another game that I was like, oh, really? That's not on there? But, um, yeah, I think it's time. And I think if for 2020, if they're like, okay, we heard you, you complain and we put Melee back on it, I, I wholly disagree with that. Yeah. I think that once, like Melee or don't like it on the Evo uh, schedule, once it's gone, it's gone, in my opinion. Like, don't, right. don't bring it back from the dead just to appease people. Um, but I, I welcome the no melee with open arms. Um, I've, I like melee. It's just there's so much to watch that weekend, and it's I'm usually not watching melee, just because it's so old. Yeah. Um, I mean, you watched the grand finals with me last year. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, but but like, couldn't you say that the the by far the uh what I'm trying to say the worst part, not that any of it was bad, but the worst part was definitely the melee stuff. Uh, you know, it's funny. I don't even really remember it. Yeah, because we probably talked through it yeah. and, and didn't really pay attention. Um, I was, th- like, you mentioned that. All I can really remember is the Dragon Ball Z Dragon game. Ball, yeah. That, and see, that's another thing. Dragon Ball's not on Sunday. It's yeah. going to have its finals on Saturday. That destroyed me. I was like, how? Like, that game, that, the Evo finals last year, like, like, solidified Dragon Ball Fighters like already solid fan base. Mm. Like so many more people play that game now because of Sonic Fox and Goichi and the whole Dragon Quest not Dragon Quest, what the fuck? Dragon <laughs> Ball showcase at yeah. Evo. And it was just so thrilling and well, it's not on Sunday anymore. <laughs> so I don't I don't know what that's about. Um but yeah. 
Um, next, Arrow got canceled. The Arrow television show. Yeah. It um, it's on its seventh season now. It's gonna get an eighth season, but it's only gonna be ten episodes long. And the answer is a very simple one. Stephen Amell, the person who plays the Green Arrow, his contract is up, and he was like, "Hey, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, I want to be with my family. Can the show go on without me?" And then the producers were pretty much like, "Um, no, we'll just end <laughs> it." So that show's ending. He made a cheeky remark as to like, you know, there's. He literally said, "There's 17 other Arrowverse shows. I'm probably gonna show up in another one, right, <laughs> at some point." But, um, yeah, it's bittersweet because Arrow really has had the the rockiest run of them all. Like Flash, I'm pretty like is pretty solid through and through. Um, but like Arrow, like started great and got a little not so great, but then it got really good in season five, and now it's had like kind of a steady. Uh, like a steady stream of like being just just good enough to to be pretty good, um. But yeah, it's you know I'm glad that they know what they're doing, so they have time to wrap yeah. up any storylines that they have. Uh, you won't going be on. left with a cliffhanger or anything. Yeah, like that. it wasn't straight up like canceled by the right. studio or channel or whatever. So that's fine. Um, they showed off Cassie Cage for uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Um, she looks awesome. She, she like definitely looks like my kind of character. From what I saw, basically all her specials are Sonya, but all her, her normals are Johnny because she's Johnny Cage's and Sonya Blade's daughter. Yeah. Um, and she has like a little cat-shaped drone that she can like throw at you and like ricochet bullets off of, and like it just looked really cool. Um, if you come in on the right, she's holding a. A, co- uh, a coffee, like from a Starbucks or whatever, and they spelled her name wrong on it. <laughs> just like real Starbucks does. Good. Um, so that was cool. She's not voiced by Ashley Birch anymore, um, but I, I like the voice actress they got for her. I forget her name. Um, she's the one who did the redhead in Persona 5. But yeah, she looks really cool. They also showed Kano. He's just all knives. Every move he had was a knife. <laughs> uh, which, like, even his kicks. <laughs> he just had knives everywhere. Um, they also showed a story trailer for that game and like we knew there was going to be time travel in it but i didn't know there was going to literally be like like there was a scene where old johnny cage was talking to young johnny cage and old oh, johnny wow. cage who like is working for the military full time and like has been through a divorce and a two children or whatever is like um you know I- i'm an old man now and then uh he sees young johnny cage is like i can't believe this and young johnny cage is like i know i've been in the future for all of 15 minutes i haven't seen one jetpack <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm really looking forward to more uh more shit like that. Um and they they just announced that that story mode is going to be like 8 hours long. So oh wow. I can't wait for that cuz um I don't know. I can't remember if you and I played the Injustice 2 story together. I don't think so. I don't think so either. NetherRealm Studios story modes have like redefined story modes in fighting games. Like they're like like when you say story mode in fighting game, usually it's just like, eh, whatever. But, like, that is, like, half the reason to show up in those games. Mm. It is, like, they are, like, really good, really solid. Um, and I'm down for eight hours of that. Um, that's pretty much it. The only thing I have left on news is that there's, I don't know if you saw this, um, but they have new Detective Pikachu trading card sets. Oh really? All the yeah, all the Pokemon that are in that movie that appear in that movie got their own card with the animations, uh, not the animation, the um, the graphics from the movie. Oh wow! Um, and they're all broken as fuck. They're all super good. <laughs> really? I. Uh, it was. When is the set coming out? I think to coincide with the movie. So wow. I think like any week now. Um, but yeah, I forget. It was um. It was. Oh, yeah, no, I forget. They were all broken, though. It, it was, it was, um, oh, that's what it was. All of them were, if you have the right amount of energy, it does this. If you have extra energy, it does all this broken shit. And oh, it, like, geez. Th- here's the thing. I want to use the cards. They look cool. I don't want to use the cards. They're super ugly because <laughs> of the bad <laughs> Detective Pikachu stuff in them. You really hate the animation style, huh? It's just, why is Snorlax... Furry? Covered in fur. <laughs> Why is Pikachu covered in fur? I'm not I can't talk about this again. I can't <laughs> talk about this again. I talked about it for like three whole minutes last time. Um 
Yeah. The, I I just I don't know. You ended you ended with that, huh? A lot of sad news this week. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. I talked about. No, there was a lot of sad news actually. <laughs> I just realized everything I said is negative. <laughs> um, um, how are you, how did how do you like Tetris? Uh, oh, <laughs> um, that was that was an interesting uh, Sunday game. So I feel like I feel like it's my bad that I didn't explain the rules of Tetris to you. I no, I mean I should have I should have told you up front. You know, I did <laughs> I didn't think see in my head I thought it was you match the colors. I guess I was totally wrong. Um but once I understood, I mean it's pretty simple. It's you got to get them all in the line. Yeah. Once you said that I was like, "Oh, okay. Yeah. That everything makes sense." Um it it got uh, it got fun when the numbers got really low, but like yeah, it was hard to take a couple of those seventieth place. It's just it's um, I don't know. I w- I wanted you, my friend, <laughs> yeah. to do to do good. I I mean, seventh is pretty good. Like seventh out of ninety nine, that's a a eighth. that's a a you know <laughs> eighth. I got eighth. buddy. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I got seven. No, Sorry. eighth was amazing. That was a great way to end it too. Yeah. Um, I really like. Just like I said, I was a little nervous, not too nervous, not like shaking, can't play nervous, but I was just like a little nervous because we were recording, and I just needed to get into the swing of things. And once I did, I was, you know, I was making it up there a couple times. Um, but, um, I don't think we're ever gonna play that again. But like, if we do, I feel like. I can do it. I feel like I can get it because, like, I've I've gotten first before in that yeah. game. Um, again, tell us in the comments if yeah. you, the people watching, want to see Tetris again. Yeah, and like I said, if you, if if we get like a resounding yes, it pro- it probably won't be next week's right. Sunday, but it'll, it'll probably be a few weeks out. Yeah. Um. But if people want to see that again, like I said in the uh video, I'll definitely be down to check out those new modes if they ever come out. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's like you said. I mean, it's like you alluded to and I started to say in the episode. Um that game is like when it's at its most intense and like demanding of you as a Tetris player, it's at its either its hardest or its easiest because you're down to less than 10 people and mm. there's either because there's so little people there's nobody attacking you or because there's so little people everybody's attacking right. you. So and at this point, you're 10 to 15 minutes into your the same Tetris match. So also, God forbid you fuck up once and mm. your whole board is fucked and now it's down to seven people. Which we saw a few <laughs> times. Yeah, like that's, yeah, like I'm not being coy. Like that happened to me. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's, it's rough. It's one of those things where like if it was single player, I could definitely come back from that. But I'm thinking on my toes. I'm thinking like, oh, Christ, if I don't get out of this, someone's going to get me. And then they do. Yeah. So it's it's like the polar opposite of the Tetris effect. And that's what I love about it. <laughs> the Tetris effect is that like VR Tetris game on PS4 that they did a couple months ago. And it has like a it has like. A, so, you know, that thing where I guess you don't you probably know it for something. But there's a thing with puzzle games or things like that where like this used to happen to me with math problems where you you do so many math problems for homework you go to bed and your dreams are like math problem related or like okay. themed that'll happen with, with tetris if you play like three four hours of tetris and then go to sleep your dreams will be tetris based huh. like, even if it's not a tetris game in your dreams it'll be like all the people are tetris blocks and they're <laughs> like it's weird so they made a game loosely based on that concept and what it turned into was the Tetris effect, which is a VR game. You don't have to play it in VR, but it's a VR game where you're playing Tetris and like you're as I've never played it as 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 I can as far as I can tell, it's like you're playing like with all this psychedelic like stuff happening in the background, like a giant whale goes by you and and you're in the space now and stuff like that. But it has a cool slowdown mechanic where you uh you can just stop time. You can just stop blocks from falling, and you can rack up, like, I think they said the max you could do was, like, a 16 Tetris. I forget what it's called. Um, but 
cut to this game, the next Tetris game that's released after that, and it's like hyper be always be on guard. You have a mm. hundred other people trying to kill you, Tetris. <laughs> And I, I think I prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fun to watch. Uh, you you've made it pretty entertaining. It was good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I I that's what I was hoping for. I I think I don't think I said this in the video. Maybe I did. I I'm hoping that that game is entertaining enough to watch by itself. Because there was a couple runs where you and I were both focused. Yeah. And well, it got in, it did get intense. I'll give you that. Yeah, definitely. Um, Earthbound. I'm loving it, man. It's a fun game. Yeah. Uh a little slow week this week, but you know, that's that's bound to happen. That's it on the RPG show that's always gonna happen. Yeah. Like even if we played Ocarina of Time, we'd have we'd bound to have a week where we don't do anything. No, absolutely. And we just like walk around and try to figure out what to do or something like that. But like we didn't that's not what happened this time. We got stuff done. It was just a little on the like, oh, they're just walking around town. But mm. I feel like as a player, that's definitely part of the game. Like, I like walking around town, seeing what the people have to say. So, I think people will like it. But, yeah. you know, next week should be, like, pretty, like, story-based and, like, a lot's happening. Like, we just got to this weird blue village mm. and we're hopefully going to rescue Paul. Yeah, with or something. Um, some oddly uh, choiced clansmen, which I'm sure we'll talk about next <laughs> yeah. week. Yeah. Well, the uh, book blue. is actually open to yeah, the page Yeah, I mean, right I, could re- I could read them. Nah, that's <laughs> – nah, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like you were talking about um, this game's just like – it's got a lot of charm. Mm. When there's sci-fi stuff, it's not silly or dumb about it. And when it is silly or dumb, it knows, and it makes a joke out of it. Right. And it, like, it knows it's – that's the – that's the – the one takeaway from this game, if you're going to take away one thing, the humor knows what it is. Yeah. Like, um, and I was explaining this to you off camera. I think I explained it on camera at some point, but uh, on mic, I mean. Um, but, like, the the way that this game is, is, there's, like, a whole genre of games that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for this game. Right. Like, yeah, none of Toby that. Fox's games would exist. The guy who made Undertale. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, Citizens of Earth wouldn't exist. It's just like there's no genre to place those. G- obviously RPG, but like other than that, there's no genre to place those games in. Those are just games that are like Earthbound mm. because Earthbound did it first, <laughs> and it's 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 something special. And like if there was, this is why we didn't play Mother because if there's an Earthbound game that it was the combat and the movement of earthbound but not the charm and the humor it would probably be boring yeah but and and that's the first one from what i've heard the first one is just like story based and it's like lots of fighting also the first one is random encounters you know how a dog walks up to you and then you fight it mother one is like any other rpg where you're just walking around and all of a sudden there's a fight yeah okay um but yeah like if it, it there's just like an earthbound formula and if it's not there it's not earthbound you know what i mean yeah and like obviously earthbound <laughs> gets it better than uh than all the rest in my opinion but it's just i i'm, I'm glad you're liking it yeah it's i don't know how many times i can uh talk about how great this game is <laughs> but uh i think we've not the next game obviously we haven't decided that yet because there's no need to but i think we're definitely gonna at some point uh dip into mother three because I personally like that game more than Earthbound, even though I grew up with Earthbound and not Mother 3. Um, well, we'll have to see. Yeah. Um, so, I did remember uh, something, if I can talk about a game I've been playing. Sure. Um, after I beat Spider-Man DLC, I've been playing a game called Lords of the Fallen. It's a not-that-well-known game. It's um it's made by Psy Games, I think is how you pronounce their game. They made The Surge, which is a game I love. The Surge is a game like Dark Souls, except it takes place in like an apocalyptic, broken down robotics factory, um, where all the enemies you fight are like futuristic robots and like guys in a suit like the one you're in. Um and my dad, a while back, he bought this Lords of the Fallen game, and I was like, whatever, I didn't think much about it. And then I learned that this is their other game. They made the surge and they made this one. So this one is basically, it's basically combat from the surge, which in itself is like Dark Souls. Um, And it's got the exploration and the like 
leveling up of Dark Souls, but it has a loot system similar to Diablo. Oh, okay. So in Dark Souls and games like Dark Souls, like Shovel Knight and, you know, uh, The Surge and stuff like that, what happens is you fight an enemy, you get the experience. You fight another enemy, you get more experience. You carry this experience with you until you get to a, like, quote-unquote safe room. And then what you do is you bank all your experience, you spend it on leveling up, and then you're out of experience. All the monsters you fought come back, and then what you do, what happens is if you have a bunch that you're holding and you die, you start at the safe area with zero. If you can get back to your experience without dying, you have your experience back. But if you do die, it's gone forever. So this game takes it to the next level where the more experience you're holding, the better loot you have. So it gives you a constant timer of like, you have a thousand experience, your loot discovery is at 1.14 rather than 1.0. Okay. So like, if you, for example, are holding like 20,000 experience and you fight a boss, that boss is going to drop its weapon definitely, but it'll be way better if you're holding more experience. But do you want to be holding more experience? Because the boss is going to fuck you up. And it's... it's Oh, that's it's, interesting. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. I didn't think I would like it this much. I'm really liking it. I've only played it for about an hour or two. I'm just past the second boss. I don't know if anyone... Nobody I know except my dad has played this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. I feel like Dark Souls-like is like kind of its own genre now, kind mm-hmm. of like how Earthbound-like is kind of its own genre. Um, and the people at Psy Games or CI Games, or however you pronounce it, are doing it. Like, I, I really like their games. I really liked The Surge. They're making The Surge 2 soon, um, and I know that no one's played that game, but um, it just took place in this one factory, and the one trailer for The Surge 2 they showed off was in a forest, so it looks like it's going to take place outside, so that's already... Already that is, like, enough to, to sell me. Yeah, if it's yeah. The Surge again, but in a different environment, cool. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that game is really fun. More on that game next week when I'll definitely have played more. Um I can't I've edited I mean other than the stuff we recorded today I've edited every piece of thunder and lightning like consumable media that we have I think I talked about this on Spider-Man I just I can't stand the sound of my own voice <laughs> I'm I thought I'd get used to it it's the opposite I'm starting to really hate it Yeah I that's that's why I don't listen to our stuff <laughs> Yeah, I mean... I say it once, and then it's gone forever. I don't know if you realize this. You screwed me over this week (laughs) with your fucking lightning round bullshit. Hey, listen, listen. You did the last one. I stopped doing them. (laughs) Well, at that point, it was like, might as well. Because, like... (laughs) Now now that you did that I'm going to have to listen to the entire like for the past couple for the past couple of weeks it was sort of like I got to remember to put the warning on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have one sensor that I have to do and I remember exactly in the podcast where it was. Um this time it's like I have to watch all the Spider-Man footage. I have to before it goes up. Like I have a Oh no. I have a week no i have a couple days yeah so <laughs> yeah you got a few days before you gotta do that thank christ we're on spring break <laughs> <laughs> i could just spend all of uh, all of <laughs> to Thursday be fair doing that. to be fair we played five games <laughs> five episodes of that game yeah and uh and i only played two so you can narrow it down to those two you no, you said thunder round. You n- you don't have to put that in. <laughs> you even said it. That's nothing. <laughs> if you don't want to put that in, you don't have to. You know what would be even better at that point if you were if you're going to look through them all and do that. Mm. Put put the light put the thunder sound from the intro there. Yeah, that's yeah. I just I I wanted to edit the hell out of these podcasts cuz now that I figured out it, like how to like succinctly like mix audio people who are have been first of all people who have been watching and listening to everything we've been putting out thank you first of all Mm. uh big help i i really hope you're liking it i think we have some of our best stuff coming um just based on how like even though it's been only three weeks i think we're way better than we were oh yeah at doing this but um if you've been watching every episode get ready for like the like week one and week two 
like editing wise and audio wise were garbage compared to how they're going to be from now on. Cause I, I like unlocked the code on <laughs> editing in theory. Um, and I, 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 I want to edit the hell out of these Spider-Man episodes. I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and, uh, when we're not talking and they are during a cutscene, I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bring it down when it's not. I, I, Ooh, I, yeah, fancy gonna, pants over here. I'm going to redo the, the intro. Nothing. You, the, the viewers aren't going to see anything redone. I'm just going to redo how the sound works on the intros. Um, and I, I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I did this. I, I, I wanted to do this because I think I can make it a, uh, something really good. And lightning round. No, <laughs> absolutely not. This is an audio <laughs> medium. <laughs> I, re- I realize we're putting a little video at the end of this one, but, like, fuck no. Fuck you. Fuck that. Fuck no. But, but, I'm not doing that. But the end will be a lightning round. It was just me playing. I'm not going to. No. No, you can't make me. <laughs> I am in the room with you. I think we're going to have a talk after we finish this podcast, and, <laughs> and you people let me know if you Don't see it, it at the end like of I this, I this uh, podcast pissed on the carpet, not. and you need to yell at me about something. <laughs> Oh, man. How long have we been talking? Is this enough? <laughs> Are people enjoying Damn. this free media enough that, that we can just stop talking now? <laughs> if you want, <laughs> I guess. We have... Um, he keeps the timer away from me. I think it's because he knows I have anxiety, and he just likes seeing me, oh, seeing me sweat. Oh, you want me to keep the... <laughs> do you want to keep the timer I near like you? seeing it. Oh, I mean, you can keep it near you if you want. We have 12 minutes left. We don't oh, have wow. to go for 12 more minutes. Let's just make weird noises till till the end. No, I'm good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna subject the people to that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we can wrap up if you want. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, no. I mean, we can talk about what what next week's gonna be. Yeah, but that's the yeah. I got that. Oh, right you know here. what? Well, uh, at least two minutes of it is gonna be them seeing yeah. that weird stuff in my dog. Yeah, and your and your cute dog. <laughs> um, so next week is going to be Ratchet and Clank for yeah. PS4. Um. I'm probably going to be playing that one. Um, Saturday is Earthbound again, obviously. Uh, and Sunday is a mystery. Ooh, <laughs> no. Well, let's figure it out. Live on it. Oh, sure. We have some time. Yeah, what we do have you, time. Let's do it. What do you want th- What do you want to do Sunday? I mean, Did we have a... I mean, you know what I always want to do, but we can't because we don't have the proper cables for it. Oh, I mean... We the with the Xbox 360 you're talking about. Yeah. But the problem with the Xbox 360 is that I have the proper cables to record off of it, but it won't be in HD. It won't oh, be HD right, right, footage. Right, right. So I don't know if that matters. You could tease the thing you want, and by tease I mean tell people what you want, and we could like if they really want it and they're okay with s- standard def and not high def. Ooh, you know what? That's a good point. We'll have. In th- oh no! In theory, I guess we'll probably have already recorded next week. Before, well, uh, I'm just saying, like, just w- this won't be next week, but we'll just put it out there. All right, that yeah. Uh, so, so listen here, all you good people listening to this podcast. Hey, um, all you people. Burger King came out with three, <laughs> three to, video. I didn't games. realize you were gonna do the whole history. Oh yeah, you, you, no, you it? take it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Christ. In 2006, um, Burger King. Under the nomenclature King Games, uh, released three video games that you could buy for, I believe, four dollars in Burger Kings. Oh God. Um, and they were Pocket Bike Racers, which is a racing game, which I've never played. Big Bumpin', which is a bumper car themed party game, which I do own. That game is horseshit. Yeah, it is. Um. And but, the flagship, but they happen to make the best game ever made, is the funny part. I'm not going to say that into the mic. The flagship <laughs> title is a title called Sneak King. Um, you get it? It is a stealth-based, what would you call it? A stealth-based food delivery game. You as the you creepy, nailed it. You as the creepy king from the commercials walk up behind <laughs> unassuming <laughs> strangers as they're going about their day, and you go, Booga booga, here's a Mc, uh, McChicken. Not McChicken, that's McDonald's. But, like, you, you just like... A Whopper. Here's a Whopper. Here's some chicken fries. Um, and they love it. It's not a good game. I'm going to say that. Oh, come on. I have fun with Stop it. Stop front. Assuredly, I have fun with it. It's not good. It's not a good game. Uh, mm. It's fun, though. That's what he says on, on the mic. 
Chris loves it though. Um, but the why we brought this up is we're definitely gonna do that on a Sunday. Christ, is that never gonna be a its own series? <laughs> I don't care how many everybody, ask everybody, for it. spam in the comments. <laughs> Burger King next next RPG Saturdays. No. Burger King till we beat it, and that game's God. impossible to beat. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's super hard. The I believe the 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 completionist did it on his channel and i believe he did the last trophy on or the last achievement on live stream and it's so random how you would get this trophy i don't know the details of it he said it took him a full nine and a half hours to beat wow um just because it was such a rng nightmare um we actually there's four levels in that game we only played through the first like one and a half Mm. because it got too hard so (laughs) um but that's what I was referring to. The HD cords on the Xbox 360 are very weird. So if we do Sneak King, it will have to be in standard dev. So if I've talked it up enough <laughs> that people want to fucking watch us slog through it. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you do. You want you want to see us do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, listen, I'm not going to badmouth our show. I'm not going to badmouth <laughs> the game. Like, if you want it, we'll give it to you, you know. But Let I, us know. Um, so that's that. So getting back to <laughs> that's not going to be next week for sure. What should we do next Sunday? <laughs> oh yeah, wow. Um who would have thought we'd probably be going over time with our extra 12 minutes. Um no, we're still good. Um next week. I wish we had a live audience to talk to so we can ask them what they want us to play. Oh, let's play Pokémon Stadium. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, that works. Um, even though I I was gonna suggest giving that a, a whole week, but you know, I think we could bang that out <laughs> in an episode. <laughs> and if people really, <laughs> if people really want to see the same shit over and over, no, and over you can again, play the story mode in that game. Yeah, the story mode is the same. Okay, no, no, I, right. we won't we won't argue about this now. Um, next week is Pokemon Stadium on Sunday. Um, all week. <laughs> no, don't confuse people. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the episode. Next week is Ratchet and Clank <laughs> Monday through Friday. Uh, Saturday is Earthbound. Sunday is Pokemon Stadium and episode f- the next episode of this podcast. Um, more podcasts incoming. We will have news about those yeah. very shortly. We're we're s- still editing them. <laughs> yeah. Um. And re- well, and recording them. So just a recap. Uh, Sneak King all no. week. No. Earthbound and then Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium all week, then Earthbound, then Sneaking. You've turned this into a giant mess. <laughs> no, it's Pokemon Go Monday through. Oh, okay. That's going to be hard to capture. It's Pokemon Go Monday through. How do we capture Friday, that? And then Saturday is Pokemon Let's Go. And then. We're not equipped to capture Pokemon Go. Sunday uh, is Pokemon Go again, but we'll do an event. No, I don't. I've never played Pokemon Go. Um. I just I just know that there's events in it. False. You've caught a Butterfree on my Pokemon Go. How, what? Yeah, we were walking. Why Why were we even over there? I think I was showing you the game. We must have walked to Richdale, and then we were walking past uh, the pond, and I was playing, and there was a Butterfree, and you were like, can I catch it? And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't. I'm not just saying this. I don't think that was me because I do not remember that. I promise you it was. I remember it. I don't remember us walking. Oh, we must have eaten at yeah, Subway. Yeah, we ate at the Subway in Richdale. The exact latitude Which, and longitude if you were wondering, of my house is. <laughs> if you if you were wondering where our intelligence level is, just remember we used to eat frequently until they closed it because of how awful it was uh, at a Subway inside a gas station. Wow, so. you just let it all out on the table. <laughs> Are you going to tell them about the fact that they got a C rating from the health inspector and we shrugged and said, I guess we'll still eat here. <laughs> well, I waited till you ate there again. And see to see if I died? <laughs> I was the royal taste test? Sick. I'm honored. <laughs> um, yeah, next week's sneaking all week. Um, <laughs> he's, he's finally, <laughs> he's given in. No, it's, ra- <laughs> it's Ratchet and Clank. Get excited. It's fun. Um... um I think that's it. Okay. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for for Rash and Clank. Yeah. And we'll see you uh, next week for another episode of this podcast. Pokemon Stadium all week. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Good. 
All right, here we are in the video. Um, as you can see, that is not MJ. That is a, a like nine, <laughs> nine foot yeah. tall Spider Man. Look at him. He's so. If you've seen the 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 playthrough, this is like her head is supposed to be. His head is supposed to be like in the shot right now, and he's just like so much like <laughs> huger. Oh, it's horrifying. I think and he like, gets close to her in a second. As you can definitely hear, he's like talking with her. Voice he's, he's, he's so like close. Way bigger It'll than her, and that like. And then it and then and it then stops. You're just, and then you're just Spider Man. And then you're just. And look playing. at her. Hold on. I, oh, there's my dog Tracy. Um, she's got her hands up. It's a different part of the game. She's surrendering. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so weird. She's like, oh my god, that's super weird. And then I was like, okay, I can do all the stuff MJ does. When you click on this, does she, oh, she talks about it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is literally just. So then I, uh, I don't know if it happens right this second, but then I was like, well, can I, can I be Spider Man? <laughs> hey, Trixie. I don't even know yeah, look at the game. I'm playing Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's gonna happen here this time. But there's a moment yeah. when you're basically like, I wonder if I... Yeah, it's right here. No! Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. And she's still, like, T-posing over there. Yeah. Meanwhile, the camera's, like, doing the MJ thing, but you're like, did you try flipping at all? I did. I don't know if I got it on camera. Oh, that was the Oh, end. that's the end. Uh, well... I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that that's that's the kind of quality entertainment you'll get if you show up for the <laughs> podcast. Um, see you guys. I like to live life, life, the most amazing.